Well, he has a fight with a lot of interest on the card. We've got Auckland Namatangi on the left of your screen up against Mark Hamilton. Mark all the way up from Christchurch and cops a really hard leg kick from Auckland and a reintroduction into the sport for Mark. And Auckland, of course, trying to avenge his first round knockout to uh, Gary Hart in about the same spot that he's in now back on the uh, 16th of the 10th of this uh, year. Hard kick to the midriff by Mark Hamilton. Boys wrap up over in the red corner. And Albert Haymuli brings them back to the centre of the ring. Round number one for the New Zealand Super Cruiserweight title. And these boys look pretty evenly matched here early in round number one. Yeah, this is going to be a, uh, a very hard fight for both boys because they pack a lot of power and they look in very fit condition. Well, Mark just showing there that uh, he's going to take advantage of any counter-attacking uh, opportunity that he gets. Oh, some good hand combinations, and Auckland Namatangi ends up with a good right hand of his own. But we follow Mark Hamilton back to his corner. He's been training hard again. He's trained overall for, apart from that break, for six years. So uh, has been around the sport for a long time. And... Looks in good condition and just changing into a south poor uh, stance here. Round number two. Now Auckland Amatangi. A very strong boy as we all know. Started his career with a TKO win. Then he fought Terry Rippey and uh, that was a loss. Oh, some big hard hitting punches there, Rebel. Yeah. Both these guys back a lot of power. Well, something gives you the um, impression that this fight may not go five full rounds. Both men very capable of ending it earlier. Good straight right hand. And the ropes get a bit of a beating out here in front of us. It's Albert Haymuli urges the men to box here in round number two. Now a year and a half layoff, um, that punch looked a wee bit pulled. Would that be a wee bit of ring rust there from Mark? Yeah, it, it may be. Um, you know, but he, he's still a very young man and he looks very um, fit and well conditioned. So if there is ring rust there, it should be um, well oiled now because they've been around and a half. Oh, nice right hand there by Auckland, but Mark, he comes straight back. Well, Mark gave a couple of good combinations of his own, but that was a, was a good right hand. And now Auckland goes downstairs, and oh, that was a hard uppercut that just missed. And Auckland looking very dangerous over in the neutral corner. And... Mark Hamilton doing the right thing to hang on and end round number two. I think Auckland's, a, believe it or not, the baby of the family. Well, he's certainly not fighting like the baby here tonight because uh, showing a lot of power. And Mark Hamilton comes out in the orthodox position. And, oh, that was a big left hand there by... Auckland. And Auckland look 
exceptionally strong in the close-up encounters in the early rounds. Mark just looks over to his corner. And Auckland tells Albert that, hey, I'm a bit short of something here. And goes back to the corner and gets his mouth guard. Auckland going for the hand combinations, just thwarted, put off balance a little bit by Mark. But Auckland just threatening something here all the time. Yeah, Auckland is getting close with that left hook. He throws a, a right kick to the leg and a left hook to the head. And it's only a matter of time before that left hook connects because he really loads it up. A slip there on the uh, canvas from Mark Hamilton. Oh, there goes that left hook that just missed its mark. Yeah. It always threatens to connect. The mark walks in with um, punching combinations, not a lot of power on it. And now the boys start swapping punches. Round number four. And a good leg kick to start the round for Mark Hamilton. And Auckland goes head hunting with some really crisp, hard combinations. And a good ploy here by Mark Hamilton get to take the leg, front leg away from Auckland. Uh, Mark throwing very hard kicks. Oh, good combinations and uh, that ring rust is gone because those combinations look crisp, they looked harder than what he's done earlier. Oh, he's caught, he's caught Auckland with a good straight left hand and Auckland looks a wee bit in trouble. He does, he, he did wobble a bit but um He's going to come back strong. Well, the thing about that punch looked like a very short, straight punch. And now we see Mark Hamilton start to gain a bit of confidence. And he's caught Auckland a couple of times again. Now Auckland doing the right thing, ties him up, tries to regain his senses because we've seen with Gary Hart, Auckland got stunned there and finished off in in pretty quick fashion, round number one in his last bout. He won't want a repeat of that. But he does look a wee bit sharper this time. But still the, the punches that he gave then just didn't seem to have the power that they did in the previous round before that. Yeah, Auckland wants to start throwing his jab out to measure the distance before he starts uh, looping those punches. He has got good power, but he wants to set out with his left jab. Well, the fight took a drastic turn there for, uh, well, not a drastic turn, but a, uh, a large swooping turn, I would say, because I thought Auckland was looking, the one that was looking the most dangerous. But this man here, Mark Hamilton, has turned the fight around with that good flurry here in round number four. Fifth and final round coming up for the uh, New Zealand Super Cruiserweight title. And still anybody's fight and Auckland first to press the attack forward well that looked like uh, maybe Auckland has recovered but I think he'll get a wee bit of uh, word Mark can't believe that sort of thing and, and we don't really need that in the sport fight just a little bit scrappy and uh, 
Now Mark Hamilton starts to move a bit. Both boys trade blows. Good knee there by Mark. Yeah, Auckland really putting a bit of pressure on at the moment. But he doesn't want to get into the clinches. He wants to stay in punching range. Auckland wants to step back and move straight into those punches straight away. Time's running against him at the moment. That's the sort of stuff he wants to do. He wants to push Mark away, come back straight again with punches. Well, time running down in the fifth and final round. And there it goes, time has run out, and the judges will have to make the decision on that one. Was the standing eight count enough to turn it Mark Hamilton's way? Pretty. Yeah, well, Mark Hamilton, he did enough. He did a lot of knee work. He definitely had a very good round four and did enough to take the New Zealand title. And I'm sure he'll be a pretty happy man because a big ask for a man to step into the ring after a year and a half and fight a five-rounder fight against a fighter of Auckland's ability.